They say nothing can travel faster than light. So how about this? You step into a pod with a powerful engine. The clock ticks down from five, four, three, two, one, and whoosh, you've left the galaxy behind. Not just any galaxy, but every galaxy, including the one you're in right now. Yep, you just hit warp speed. Now you're zipping across the universe faster than light. Whoa. So how did you do it? Did you break the laws of reality? Well, that depends on whether you trust our sources. In this video, we'll explore what happens when we break the ultimate speed limit. Hitting light speed, it's an achievement reserved for one photons. Light travels at a staggering 299,792 kilometers per second. That's 186,000 miles per second. At that speed, you could circle the Earth 7.5 times in one second. The question is, why does everything have to follow the speed limit? Because according to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, the faster you move, the slower time passes for you. But he didn't stop there. He also said nothing can travel faster than light. Why not? Well, because at the speed of light, time stops. If you hit that speed, you become timeless. But what if you could break the speed limit? What if you could go faster than light? Well, here's a problem. No one has ever traveled even close to the speed of light. The fastest man-made object is the Parker Solar Probe. It reached a blistering 100,000 kilometers per hour in late 2021. But that's still peanuts compared to the speed of light. However, scientists have been thinking about this problem for decades. In fact, physicist Ronald Mallet calculated the mass of a particle traveling near the speed of light. As early as 1905, his famous equation, E equals mc squared, remains the cornerstone of special relativity. It shows that mass and energy are interchangeable. The faster you move, the more energy you have. As you approach light speed, your energy, and thus your mass, increases infinitely. That means it takes infinite energy to actually reach the speed of light. Since we can't produce infinite energy, it appears the cosmic speed limit will remain out of reach. But don't throw in the towel yet. There are theoretical solutions that could get you over the line. Meet the Alcubierre drive, a remarkable invention by Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre. It's a theoretical engine that contracts space in front of a spaceship and expands it behind the vessel. The front end shrinks space towards a singularity, creating a void that sucks the ship forward. Meanwhile, space behind the craft stretches, pushing it along like a surfer riding a massive cosmic wave. So how does this sorcery work? It relies on a concept called the Casimir effect. This occurs when two unfixed mirrors are placed close together in a vacuum. The resulting pressure pushes the mirrors apart. In short, empty space has a subtle pressure. By manipulating this force, we can distort space-time and ride the ripples. Sounds almost too easy, doesn't it? Well, there is a catch. To achieve this, you'll need negative energy or exotic matter. While negative energy has been observed in some quantum mechanics experiments, we haven't found any evidence of exotic matter since it was hypothesized in the 1960s. Plus, the Alcubierre drive could collapse space-time if it becomes unstable, which is not exactly ideal for interstellar travel. And you'd need a lot of negative energy. Okay, let's think outside the box. Forget about going faster than light. How about going backward? That's right. Traveling to the past? If you were hurtling toward a distant star at 99% the speed of light and turned around, you'd be flung back to your starting point. Confused? Don't worry. We're all on a cosmic merry-go-round here. Imagine you traveled at 99% the speed of light and passed a star 10 light years away. Now you turn your ship around and accelerate to 99.9% .9 the speed of light. According to Einsteinian physics, time would pass slower for you than for someone staying put. So when you finally got back to where you started, less than a year would have passed for you but nearly two decades would have elapsed on Earth. In other words, you've gone back in time. But hold the phone. That doesn't make sense. How can you return to your starting point and still travel into the future? Here's where things get tricky. Scientists have argued that time travel to the past violates the principle of causality, which states that cause must come before effect. But if you manage to go back in time, wouldn't that mean you could kill your own parents, preventing your own birth? Paradoxes aside, Physicists believe that faster-than-light travel may enable time travel. But if you go back in time, you could inadvertently trigger events that could change history or even erase yourself from existence. 
Some scientists propose that the universe would self-correct such paradoxes by exploiting quantum mechanics or by collapsing alternate timelines. Now let's talk about biological limits. In 2009, researchers at the University of Göttingen in Germany used computer simulations to study what would happen to a person traveling faster than light. Our conclusion, extreme acceleration could tear human tissue. Fortunately, science has some tricks up its sleeve. Solutions include artificial gravity, inertial dampeners to reduce the impact of acceleration on the body, or uploading human consciousness into an artificial intelligence. Faster-than-light communication could allow us to send messages to distant galaxies instantly. Meanwhile, faster-than-light spaceships could transform us into interstellar nomads. Now imagine reaching another star system within a few hours instead of centuries. It could open up new worlds and potentially conquer new galaxies. Just think about the possibilities. In 1974, the American theoretical physicist Richard Feynman famously said, No. 1. Space is never the same once you've been there. No. 2. Time is never the same once you've been there. No. 3. Nothing is ever the same once you've known it. That quote holds especially true when it comes to faster-than-light travel. If we crack the code, it could revolutionize space exploration. But if we're not careful, it might unleash forces we weren't meant to handle. A question remains. Will we ever cross that cosmic threshold? The answer might lie in our ability to manipulate space-time, harness exotic matter, or push the boundaries of physics. The potential rewards, exploring new galaxies, rewriting history, or even conquering time. The risks, facing the unknown, unraveling the fabric of reality, or unleashing forces beyond our understanding. As we stand on the brink of the impossible, we must ask ourselves, do we dare venture into the realm of faster than light? So here's the deal. If you want to know more about the mind-bending mysteries of the cosmos, I've got a suggestion for you. Check out my latest series, Cosmic Secrets 4.0. It's where I take you on a journey through the most baffling phenomena in the universe. And guess what? I've lived right now on Nebula. Yeah, I know I keep talking about this platform, but it's because it's awesome. Not only do you get exclusive access to all my content ad-free and in stunning 4K, but you've also got a bunch of incredible Nebula originals and the best from CuriosityStream. And here's the coolest part. You can watch videos from all your favorite creators like Brian Cox, David Attenborough, and Stephen Hawking. Trust me, it's a cosmic adventure you won't want to miss. Look, if you love space and tech and all the crazy theories out there, this is your ticket to the best of the best. So check it out. It's just $2 a month. Use the link in the description. And hey, if you sign up, you'll get a free month of Curiosity Stream. It's a win-win situation. So what are you waiting for? Join us on this nebula, and let's unravel the secrets of the universe together. Okay. And here's an extra special bonus for you. When you sign up, you'll get to watch the first ever episode of Real Engineering. Can you imagine that? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Sea Show Space video, make sure to check out more just like it. And one more thing, if you've ever wondered what it would be like to fly faster than light, then you won't want to miss this video.